Do you want to make some sus crewmates? Perhaps you broke your hand and can't draw any more sprites in all the different colors you want. I'll be using Godot's visual shader for this, but the methods used can be applied even in other game engines. First things first, you'll want to prepare your art in a specific way. Since we're imitating Among Us style, your art will need three colors. You'll need full red, full blue, and full green. Two colors will represent shades of a singular color and a separate face color. You're free to choose which color is which, just be sure to remember your decisions. To check your RGB values, make sure that there's only two Fs and zeros in the hex. Once you've got your assets prepped, import them into Godot and we can start on the shader itself. Let's start by creating a new shader material on our sprite node and we'll be making a new visual shader. Uh, it's at this point where some of you may become lost. I know from experience I've forgotten to change the visual shader mode to canvas item. And I've spent hours racking my brain trying to figure out what I was missing. Make sure to change the mode to canvas item before continuing. For our inputs, we want to reference our texture. So let's add an input node and select texture. We'll then hook it up to a texture function via its sampler 2D. Chances are you'll get a warning of sorts to fix this change the texture field from texture to sampler port. If you connect the texture function to our color output and you see your sprite with a filled background, you're on the right track. To get rid of the background, simply connect the textures alpha to our alpha output. It's here we'll see why we need to make our sprite with full red, green, and blue values. We're going to be grabbing those values and separating them out, multiplying them by our own colors, and then sticking them back together. So to get our colors, we'll need to single them out via vector values. In our case, R is X, G is Y, Z is Z. So for red, we want to multiply our texture RGB by a vector of 1, 0, 0. Repeat this for the other colors using 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, respectively. Make sure to hook them all up. Make sure to connect all three channels to their vector op nodes. Next, we want to desaturate our selections via a grayscale color function. This makes it so that we can mix in our own colors using a blank canvas, so to speak. Now we want to add our own colors. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be choosing one color and adding more nodes to handle the shading and then the other color for the face. Two colors in total. Let's start by multiplying our new color by our most prominent color mask. For me, it's the R value. Uh, if everything's correct, when you hook it up to the color output, you should be able to see the one color that you've designated. If not, feel free to go back and look over things. For the shading, I multiplied my chosen color by a vector of 0.75. To add it to our other color, we use an add vector. And when we hook that up to our color output, we can see both our colors. Last thing to do is add our face color. The process is the same as before. You can add a color uniform for easy editing and then multiply that by our remaining texture RGB value. To complete the shader, we just add it to our color output. And there you go. If you need to do a double take, this is what the end result should look like. If you have any questions or concerns about the video or anything else you saw today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will be sure to check it out. If this helped you out in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.